Hey, Cook House Chef Kendra here, and today we are making a delicious and very easy broccoli soup. So let's do what we do and make it happen. We have chicken broth, frozen broccoli, ground ginger, garlic, an onion, olive oil, potatoes, black pepper, and salt. First thing I'm gonna do is chop this onion. It's going into blender, so it doesn't have to be anything special. Now I'm cutting up the potatoes. Getting this pot, it's a medium sized pot, over medium heat. I'm gonna add in olive oil, guys. I'm gonna let this olive oil heat up for about a minute. Just heat it up. I'm gonna add my onions. All of them. And I'm actually gonna turn it down to medium low. Stir and cook. Break them up until you can almost see through them. It's called translucent and we're gonna work that out. And when they're almost translucent, we're gonna toss in the garlic. And while I'm stirring this around, I'm gonna take a little opportunity to add just a pinch of sea salt. See what I mean? See how that's become translucent? Now we're gonna add in our garlic and that's three cloves chopped up. I'm gonna let this go for one or two more minutes and then we'll go on from there. Now we're gonna add the potatoes, our broccoli, and our chicken broth. Now, I'm gonna turn this back up to medium high and bring it to a boil. Once it starts to boil, I'm gonna reduce the heat to low and let this soup cook for about 25 minutes. Some questions I know you guys are gonna have is, what about the seasonings? We're gonna add those at the end. Does the broccoli need to be thawed? It does not need to be thawed before you put it in here. It's gonna cook, it's gonna be fine. Does the broccoli have to be florets? No, it could be broccoli that's chopped. It could be broccoli and stems, it's all fine. But I like, I like this, vibrant green bulbs with smooth, dense stems. No, no, I like the full broccoli head. I like the full broccoli florets. And while it's cooking, and you're waiting for it to boil, you can come and give it a stir up once in a while. Now there's little things to clean up around here and we'll come back. Okay guys, you can see that we have a pretty nice boil going on here. I'm gonna reduce the heat to low and let it cook for about 25 minutes. Just treated it with this stuff here. I hope it's some good. And we'll see. So now we're gonna add the pepper, salt, and the ground ginger. Stir that in. Now we have a blender here. We'll take the top off. And I'm gonna turn the heat off and scoop this into the blender. 
just like so. You know how we do? Gonna scoop this in here like a boss. This would be perfect with a panini or grilled cheese, soup and salad, the classics. I'm gonna start with that much. I'm gonna put the top on and make sure the top is closed. Now, this is the setting I'm using right here. Oh, as an extra precaution, this stuff is hot as Hades. So you wanna, you can put a tea towel over it. Now we're gonna pour it in this clean bowl right here. I'm gonna put this back on the machine. I want a perfectly smooth soup. So we have our soup, it's ready. Now this is an important time. What you wanna do is make sure everything is extra yummy for your family, is taste and check for seasonings. See if it needs any more salt or pepper for you and your crew. Mm, it was very good. Yo, share my videos and recipes, and if you haven't already, subscribe. That's all for this time. I'll see you next time. Chef Kendra's out. Peace. Peach Teach City, the home of the golf cart. Huh? Oh, that's okay. How you doing? Hi. Which Hi. ones are the moms? These? Yeah. Oh, they are pretty. They're like a colorful afro.